only feel slightly ridiculous saying the word stud muffin. Hi everyone, welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. If you're new here, my name is Amy. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try to get into the frame of mind where I say welcome and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up while you're watching if you like it and subscribe and ring the bell for notification for whenever I upload a new video because I have been uploading a new video several times a week. And I, for some reason, I just never think to say this stuff when I start. I always remember at the end, but I'm going to try to switch things up a little bit. Okay, enough, enough intro. Lots of people do really long intros, and I always think they're really interesting, but I can never think of, you know, lots of stuff to say. <laughs> Yesterday, I got in the mail, I got a couple of things that I ordered from Ulta. And I picked up a new foundation that they are carrying, and this is the EXA foundation. And um, I know literally nothing about this foundation. It says high fidelity semi-satin foundation. Protective microalgae actives, soothing maqui berry and hydrating hyaluronic acid team up with advanced pigment technology to wear light and last long. Buildable finish for all skin types, all ages, all people. That sounds pretty good. This this is one of those um, like clean beauty type of things, recycled package, um, recyclable bottle. The plastic is is from recycle recycled plastics, so all that stuff. If you're into that, that's 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 great. I, I like to see that. I also picked up um, the blueberry muffin palette from BH Cosmetics. So that's what she looks like. I did do a little bit of swatching yesterday because I couldn't help myself. I also picked up the, this. I think this is a holiday release. I'm sure it is. It's called the, I think it's called the Naughty Palette. And um, she's a big girl. And this is what she looks like. I swatched, I swatched um, this color. You can tell it's super pretty, really pretty. And then there's a couple of like pressed glitters, and the glitter in in those is is really fine, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of um, binders and stuff. So I don't know how well those, you know, will work. I think I'm gonna try the blueberry palette today, and we'll we'll pull out the the naughty palette maybe tomorrow. And then we will go in with the foundation and we'll, we'll test that out. It's pretty early today, so should have plenty of, of wear time and uh, be able to see, you know, how this, how this works. It'll be interesting to see if I can break my cycle of, of buying and trying out foundations that end up being super dry on me. Speaking of which, and I will mention this when I go to do my sort of update video, but uh, I did try the Moira foundation again yesterday and I mixed in some of the squalene oil from Indy Lee to see if I could get it to look, look better on my skin because it has been one of those foundations that's looking dry on my skin by the end of the day. Not dry and flaky, just, just dry, just dehydrated. And that did seem to, that did seem to help. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about that and I plan to try that with some of the other foundations that I've recently tried. Let's go in with the color Cheat Day. I am still struggling with my lighting a bit because my the light bulbs that I have for my little overhead light are, I don't know, the one that I have in right now is not really working either. I mean, it works, but it's not the right color. and It's, it's not very bright. So I'm, I'm a little frustrated by that, but. I think a lot of these are pressed pigments. And so you're gonna get kick up in your palette and potentially fall out. Seems to blend out nicely. So I'm gonna take this really dark blue in here, this one right here. So good, we'll just see about that. I'm going to take that on a 
a little bit smaller brush and I'm gonna go into this outer corner. We're gonna start with that and see how she does. Blues can be a little a little tricky. They're kind of like purples in that way. They can blend away or not build nicely or something along those lines. So that's one of the reasons I'm going in with this color kind of towards the beginning of the, the process. And I am lifting up my, my eyelid just a little bit just so I get in this little fold that I have here. So I am getting a little bit of fallout from, from this color. I'm going to pick up the color Decadent, which is this dark brown in the palette. Put some in there. And I just want to see what that does as far as depth. If that will work or if we need to come up with plan B. So not adding a lot of, of darkness, but it is changing the tone, of course, a little bit. Not Maybe not building quite like I would like it to. I'm mostly I'm just playing. I'm just trying. I'm just trying colors here. So that's nice. Don't worry about the like if your shadows aren't totally blended on your on your lids and stuff when you first start. That's okay. I think I am going to go into the color Delish, which is the lightest blue in here, and I'm just going to go around the edges here. See what that looks like. And then I will probably go in with the, oof, that's pigmented, the color Fluffy, which is kind of a fleshy toned. So let's see what this one looks like. This is Fluffy. I'm not seeing a lot of impact from that, which is not surprising on, on my skin tone. Shadows like that can be useful for blending out edges. I'm not getting a lot of good sort of blending action on that one little area right here. I probably should have started out a little a little slower and built up. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep with that same brush and I'm gonna do little circular motions here and really blow this outer corner out and start to blend it not really in the crease but just make sure that that's a nice gradient. And then I will probably go back in with either the dark blue or that dark brown. And that dark brown is kind of a purpley brown, which I like that color. Let's go in with some kind of shimmer here on the, the inner lids. I kind of like to go in with this color called Tempting. I'm going to go into the color Tempting that up on a flat brush and I am going to spray this just because I don't know I think it'll maybe give me the most bang for my buck so I'm just using a little fix plus and boy I need to get some that's a really interesting color especially paired with these other more, um, let's see what you call those, more sky blue. This is a, has a little bit of a, I don't know, why is, why is my color fairy language failing me right now? This has almost like a dirty look to it, a muted look. So it is taking a little effort to, to build that up with a brush. I'm going to go in with my fingers. I'm just going to pick that. I'm going to take I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that stud muffin color. I only feel slightly ridiculous saying the word stud muffin. And 
and just putting that right where the shimmer meets that mat or those mats in the outer corner just a little bit just to put as many many colors on my eyeballs as I can there is a black in this um, kind of a well it's not really black it's like a like a brown black and then it has little micro micro shimmers in it so hopefully you can see that now I find these kinds of colors incredibly unsatisfying <laughs> because I don't know that it seems like the shimmer just goes away and so it's like what's the point where'd it go it usually ends up on your face but in the interest of science as it were I'm gonna pick a little bit of that up on that brush and we're gonna put a little bit out here. So that's, you know, it's nice, but you don't get a lot of impact from the shimmer in there. And I'm gonna pick up the color Decadent again, which is that sort of dark brown. I just wanna put a little bit of that out here just to, just to see what it looks like. Or maybe I should do 380, let's do 380. Okay, change of plans. I'm not totally wowed by that. It's just a clean brush. And again, this is probably, you know, when I don't like something, it's probably user error as opposed to uh, <laughs> bad eyeshadows. Just keep that in mind. I still am fighting that dryness on my, my eyelid up here, so it's not making me very happy. Let's pick a little bit of that. feel like they don't look quite the same and I'm not sure exactly why they don't look quite the same. All right, I'm gonna stop fucking around with that because it's probably just gonna get worse the more I try to quote unquote fix it. I'm gonna clean up here and there's quite a bit of um, like glitter type fallout from something. Probably that sort of black brown I mean, it looks beautiful in the pan, and even on a swatch, it looks kind of cool and stuff, but in practice, I feel like it doesn't really, I don't know, just doesn't work. I think I'm going to use my, um, my liquid liner from AOA, uh, which is at the brand at Shop Masse. I actually really like these um, Shop Masse eyeliners. They're, uh, they're really... They're really good. I mean, there's one that I have, and I can't think which one it is that I don't like. That's a winged eyeliner that's good enough to stay home in. I'm gonna use the ColourPop liner in the color DTLA. And I'm gonna tight line with that. I'm gonna put a little sunscreen on today, although I don't I don't foresee going out anywhere. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna let this you know, sink into my skin and do all that stuff. Go make another coffee is, is usually the thing that I do when I'm doing my makeup or filming my yeah. makeup. All right, I'm gonna let my sunscreen sink into my skin, go make a coffee, and I will come back and we will get into the EXA foundation that I got recently at Ulta, brand new foundation. So I really wanted to try that because I'm always interested in foundations Especially, you know, somewhere like Sephora and Ulta and stuff that are relatively easy for, for people to get. And a new brand that I've never heard of as opposed to a new foundation from a brand I have heard of is, is always kind of um, intriguing to me. So I will be right back, guys. All right, I am back and let my sunscreen sit on my face a little bit. And we are going to try out the EXA foundation. And I got the shade 460 Greta. And God, I hope it's not too dark. It does say to shake well, so I guess I better 
I better do that, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a couple of pumps, and I think I'm going to, today I think I'm going to try doing like a half sponge, half brush kind of thing. We'll see how it goes here. Okay, shade-wise, it's not bad. This is a very, um, it's not a runny foundation, but it's a very sort of, um, what would you call it, juicy foundation. So that's, I picked up a little too much there, I think, on my brush. Pretty nice shade match though. Thank goodness. Because this is not, as far as I know, available in any stores, at least as of yet. And I don't think they have a super extensive collection on Ulta. So that has a nice, a nice finish. Kind of dewy. We're gonna let it sit down, of course. <clears throat> and I used quite a bit of foundation. Uh, with my brush, so that was my fault. <laughs> I'm gonna take another pump, and I'm gonna pick that up on my on my sponge. Now let's just see what kind of situation we got with the sponge. Coverage wise, I feel like I got a tiny bit more with the brush. Um, But honestly, I don't think there's a huge, a huge difference. So I would say that this is a foundation that you could use probably your preferred uh, method of, of application and you'll probably be, you'll probably be fine with it. I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my brush though, just so that I have and go over my whole face and just make sure that I've got like kind of the same amount of foundation on on my whole face as opposed to a lot more over here and less over here and then I'll go over it with my sponge but that has some really really nice coverage so I'm gonna go over this with with my sponge Wow this is really pretty really pretty I'll be interested to see it says it's long wearing so we'll, we'll find out about that and I'm gonna let this set see if it dries down some before I decide if I'm going to powder or anything. Let's go ahead and do a little concealer while everything is still dampish. I keep thinking I'm going to order a little bit lighter shade maybe of the Giorgio Armani um, concealer. This is the power fabric one or whatever it's called and I have 3.5 for me right now anyway this doesn't seem like it has a lot of uh, like doesn't do a lot of brightening so to speak now I don't really like that look on me where you go you know two three four shades lighter than your foundation and do highlighting and stuff with concealer I just don't do that I just I can't be bothered so no problems blending that with that foundation. That always makes me happy. That's one of the reasons I like this concealer or that concealer is because it does seem to work with most of the stuff that I have. Setting with my NARS crystal powder. Yeah, this is settling a little bit in my expression lines on my forehead. Not really settling around my mouth or around in my nose, but around my nose. So that's kind of that's kind of unusual. Usually, if it does it in one place, it does it in all the places. I would say that this is a nice high medium coverage. Um, I think it's buildable. Did it say that it was buildable? Yes, buildable finish. So this is definitely. I can tell that this is one of those foundations that would look really nice sheer and probably look pretty decent built up uh, I didn't do that I didn't really build it or anything like that 
I just wanted to try the sponge and the brush and I just kind of went in with what I would normally go in with which was oh two and a half pumps or so which was more than adequate for a high medium finish so I really I like I like the way that this looks right now I think it's really quite a quite a stunning foundation given that it's brand new and I didn't know a damn thing about it I'm gonna let this sit for a few more minutes before I before I powder um, I do think I'm gonna powder at least my forehead um, but I'm gonna give it a chance to dry down a little bit more and then uh, I will come back and I will share with you what else I put on my face I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes and my brows and all that good stuff um, but uh, we'll just we'll just move on from here and we'll kind of uh, you know once I get that done I'll come back and we'll sort of see how everything is looking and I'll let you know what else I put on my face and how everything kind of went over this particular foundation the eyes I, I'm I'm kind of liking I it's quite a it's quite a pretty and, and dramatic look I am wishing that I would have done something a little different not because of the shadows but just because I'm like I don't know was I in the mood for blue eyeshadow I'm not sure I was in the mood for blue eyeshadow today and yet here we are with a blue with a blue eyeshadow look okay guys I am back and I did a little little something with my with my hair I used one of my little wave crimper things and so now it's a now it's a wild thing but that's okay I like wild okay so before I talk about the foundation and the eyeshadow let me share with you real quick what I put on the rest of my face I did powder with my bare minerals powder then I went in with my Milani bronzer and this is the this is number two sun kiss this is the silky matte bronzer and I like this bronzer with this kind of eye look because it's a little bit cooler bronzer I went in with the blush from flesh in the color pulse they used to carry flesh cosmetics at Ulta but uh, they don't they don't carry them anymore they discontinued them there and uh, this is a this is a pretty blush I picked it also because it's a little bit um, cooler of a color and then for my highlight um, even though I don't support this particular brand anymore I did go in with the Jeffree Star highlighter in hypothermia and I mostly I picked this one because it's kind of a it's got a little bit of that sort of blue purple shift to it um, pinky kind of thing it's 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 really it's really a pretty kind of dramatic uh, highlighter and I do like it and it's unfortunate that um, I feel like I can't really support the brand anymore for my lips I put on a Natasha Denona I need a nude in the shade Natasha I've talked about this before um that's a little peachier than I might like but I cooled it down a little bit with the Mac lip gloss in in and I have no idea what shade this is but it's kind of a blue um, sort of frosty um, oh it's kind of it's kind of sheer but it's very uh, it's got like little purple and blue reflex in it so it's nice to I think I got this at like TJ Maxx or something so I'm not even sure if this is still available I will try to find that out and uh, link it down below but you can see that it's got kind of a blue gray sort of thing going on so that's something that I like when I feel like I have on a lipstick that's a little bit too warm for the look that I'm going for I tend to like a cooler a cooler look a little bit um, I like a nude look I don't like really I'm, I'm not into dark lipsticks and things like that I just don't feel like they look good on me for the foundation like I said I did powder this with my bare minerals but one thing that I really really like about this is and hopefully you can see it there's still like some like glow coming through on this even though I powdered to sort of set it down and I have to say that that's like my my favorite type of foundation where I put it on it's super glowy and I can just dial it back just the tiniest bit with whatever powder I set with uh, I really I really enjoy that I do feel like this looks a little bit 
makeup-y around my nose, around my mouth. But I think I mentioned when I put this on that I probably just used a little too much, at least in the, the center of, of my face. Going over it with a sponge really helped. I did spray with the Collab Setting Spray. I, I think I might I might have one more application in here. I'm, I'm trying my best to get, you know, everything out of that bottle that I can. But I like a setting spray, and so I went ahead and, and put it on because, generally speaking, I like, I like doing that. Whether or not it helps or hinders this foundation as far as its lasting powder, well, we'll find out. Um, this is supposed to be a long wearing foundation, so I'm, I'm hoping that it is. It is about noon, so I should be able to get in a nice, you know, nine hours out of this, um, depending on, you know, when I decide to come back for my check-in. But in general, right now, I feel like it looks, it looks really pretty. And um, I think, I still think that it has a nice medium to high medium coverage. I did not build it up, like do a number of thin layers or anything like that. And so I can still see little, little freckles and spots and things like that kind of showing through, but it did a really nice job of evening out my, my skin tone. I will say that if you decide to, to try this foundation, this is the EXA foundation, by the way, um, to yes, definitely be sure to shake it up really well because when I did, even though I shook it, when I pumped it out onto my hand, I could tell that there was probably a little bit of separation in the pump, if, if that makes sense. So whatever was sitting in the, in the pump mechanism is not gonna get shaken up because that's just not, <laughs> that's just not gonna happen. But uh, I, th I expect from now on that uh, whatever comes out will be, you know, nicely mixed and everything. So I'm, I'm super pleased with this so far, as far as the way that it, the way that it looks and the amount of glow that I have. I did have a little bit of setting in my forehead lines and um, I'm not really seeing that now. So tapping out the, the little bit of creases and stuff before I powdered, I think really did the job. I am going to leave it there for now. I have nothing to do today except some editing and maybe a little bit of I don't know. I should do some housework. <sighs> I should do some housework, but I, uh, honestly, I probably won't because I don't want to, at least not today. <laughs> I, oh, I, mama needs to, mama's getting her roots done next, next week. Thank God, because, um, yeah, they're really bad and I'm sick of putting color, root color, spray crap in my hair because then I feel like I have to wash my hair every day because it's it's kind of crispy and and stuff so it does the does the trick but it's annoying um I am going to leave it there I will do a check-in a little bit later and probably at the end of the night um or sooner if I for some reason need to take off my face or I'm tired and I want to go to bed or whatever um it is it is Saturday today and I have a video going up today, which is kind of cool. Actually, it should be up already, which I am not, I have not been in the mode of, of uploading things for Saturday, but I, I think I'm going to give it a go for a little while because I'm, you know, I don't know. I think I have enough things planned in my mind and, and so on that uh, I can do that. I can, I can squeak out another video uh, a week. So that'll make four videos a week. So I'm kind of excited about that. That'll be it. That'll be a good thing. All right. I'm going to shut up now. Shut up, Amy. Just stop talking. I am going to go and uh, I'll check in a little bit later. All right. Bye guys. Hey guys, just checking in and wanted to give you a little update on the EXA foundation, most specifically that I tried today. This has been on my face for about eight hours. I have a quiche in the oven and so I wanted to come on and, and film real quick before that was finished and I'm going to call it an early day I think because <laughs> I'm for some reason I'm really tired today. This foundation is really nice you guys. Um, I, 
you know, I've looked at it periodically through the day and it looks better on my nose than it did when I put it on because it was kind of doing that polka dotty thing when I first put it on and which is not uncommon for foundations for me but I like foundation that doesn't do that if I can get it. I mean overall I'm really kind of thrilled that this looks as good as it does at the end of eight hours and it feels like nothing about it would change in the next four hours for example uh, I'm not gonna wear it for four more hours because like I say I'm, I'm gonna eat dinner and I'm going to bed <laughs> but it hasn't settled anywhere it's a little heavy looking right here typical very typical uh, but it has not I laid down this afternoon for a little while and and read some and you know it it hasn't worn away. It hasn't gotten like dry looking. The only thing that I am seeing that I don't like, which is if you remember, I put on quite a bit of foundation and this would probably be alleviated by me not putting quite so much on. Is it looking just a little bit heavy around my, my nose, like in those, those creases, right? Or folds right there. Um, again, that's a very typical thing for me. Uh, let's see if we can, I'm going to just take a, like a little brush here and I'm going to see if I can't kind of, um, buff that out a little bit because that may be something that I could do back when I first put this on. Let's just see if that kind of alleviated that a little bit. Yeah, it did. I see a tiny bit of settling in my forehead lines, but not anything that I find alarming, especially after eight full hours. It feels pretty nice. It feels a little bit dehydrated, a little bit like it would benefit from a spray, like a refreshing, uh, makeup refreshing spray type of thing. Also, I, I was thinking about it a little bit ago when I was thinking about what I wanted to say. And I was like, you know, I don't think I finished like putting on all of my moisturizers and and creams and lotions and potions as I like to say this morning so I put on at least two of the steps and then I think I got distracted and I didn't go back in and put on kind of like my basic moisturizer and I did use the the sunscreen from Josie Marin, so that's a nice sort of emollient sunscreen. But before that, I didn't, I really didn't do anything, I don't think, which is very unlike me. I, I was like, I don't remember actually putting on my, my moisturizer. <laughs> so I'm going to wear this again tomorrow because I'm going to do a look with the other uh, palette that I got. Um, so today was the Blueberry Palette from BH Cosmetics and tomorrow will be the Naughty Palette. And I will probably, I'll probably just go ahead and do like a separate, a whole separate video, maybe just focusing on the, the eyes and then just sort of updating you about the, about the foundation itself. I might even try putting a little drop of oil in it just for, just for fun, just to see what happens. In general, I'm I'm super pleased with this foundation that I just bought on a whim, not knowing a thing about it, not knowing a thing about it. But right now I really, I like this. And the eyeshadow is, is, you know, perfect. I mean, it's perfect. It looks just like, I'm not saying that it's like a perfect job because I'm not a pro or anything like that, but it has not moved. It's not faded, it's not creased, it's not done any of that. Yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm not gonna go on and on because right now I'm thrilled. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate your time here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notification for whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, bye guys.